Are you looking to move to Canada pretty soon? This video is going to be very informative for you as I'll be breaking down monthly expenses that you should expect as soon as you land in Canada. Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Rosalyn and I'm Rachel. We film videos about our life in Canada and how you can join us here. We encourage you to please subscribe to our channel, like and click the notification bell so that as soon as we post new videos, you get to watch it first. The plan for this video is to tell you guys about how much we spend on a monthly basis. I have a family of four and she has a family of three. So we are going to be breaking down the expenses so that you can be better prepared financially when you are moving to Canada. The first category is housing. Housing is the major expense in Canada. The cost of housing is also depend on where you live mm -hmm. and also the type of house you live in. Mm -hmm. I live in Fredericton, New Brunswick. Our mortgage is about 1,250 property tax inclusive. So for you, also in Fredericton, New Brunswick, and then our mortgage is about 850. But on the average, when you get to Canada, you are likely going to be looking at renting a two bedroom apartment, which is around 1,002 to 1,500. That's yeah, 1,500. Yeah. Some of them come with utilities included, some don't. So the next expense is your home insurance. So for home insurance, we pay 105. For our home insurance, we pay about $30. So for newcomers to Canada, you can actually skip this expense mm -hmm. because you don't pay home insurance, but you're advised to take rental insurance. And rental insurance, I think it covers everything that the home insurance doesn't cover for the owner. Yeah, it covers you specifically and I think it's around $30 to $50. Bill. The next uh, bill that you should expect to pay is home internet. So for home internet, we are currently on a promo at at $50, $50, but now it has jumped up to $80, my people. <laughs> I had to call them immediately. What is happening here? You just said all the hula baloo and I'm like, we don't have a choice. Most of the time, when you're a newcomer, yeah. you probably get a promo, but if you don't get a promo, you should expect to pay about $100 for your home internet. internet yes. yes. So um, for electricity, mm -hmm. this is largely based on use. So I have a little one and... I like to keep the house really warm just for it because it's crawling and my bill for this year has been outrageous but I would say we pay about $500 a month yeah for us it just, the thing just went up because when we first came the highest I paid was about 180 mm -hmm. but you know I think winter season I also had to like increase the heating system of the house the last bill was about 380 something so that's the thing actually in summer months you tend to pay less yes that yes less, because two things you likely don't use too much hot water mm -hmm. and the eating system is not running so because of that you likely pay lesser and yeah. on the average you should expect to pay about 300 i'll say 300 to 400 per month or, yeah yeah or maybe during the summer month lesser than that yeah. so the next bill is um water bill i think this bill comes quarterly so i pay about 300 dollars per quarter so that's going to be about hundred dollars per month so what do you pay house is about forty dollars it's like a townhouse a block of houses together yeah like six of us six so of you guys, they just yeah. bring the bill together and yeah. then we divide right. it amongst ourselves yeah but the last quarter was about forty dollars on Ooh. the average most houses in a team for instance you likely won't pay water bill it's usually included in your rent so mm -hmm. i'll put zero for that on the average for mm -hmm. if you're living in fredericton the next category of expenses we'll be going to is household expenses the major one here is um, your groceries food is life guys but <laughs> so for groceries if you are not tracking your expenses it's pretty hard to like put a number to it but lately i've been tracking my expenses and i've seen how my groceries have gone from an average of 800 to about 1001 or 1002 in a month so keep in mind that this is a family of four two kids and two adults i just want to start like you said tracking your tracking expenses. my expenses but my bank app has been doing a good job with that oh yeah yeah so yeah. they just give me an insight of how much i spent last month on groceries how much mm. it is this month. last month i saw i've spent about 800 to 1000 dollars i think the average issue like depending on your family size and your lifestyle we should also mention that grocery is expensive because african food is expensive too yeah. so that's why we spend a lot on food so but i think if you are a family of three or four, you should expect to spend about a thousand dollars. So the next one is our phone plan. Yeah, myself and my husband, I think we pay about fifty dollars each. That's plus tax. That's on one thing. For my phone plan, I got a promo. Yeah. So 
I'm still on 35 okay. plus tax. Okay. I think my husband is on 75. So, so that brings the family total to about 110. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but on the average, for two adults in the house, you should, should expect to pay about 110 for not so basic fund plan. So the next group of expenses that we think that you should know about is your transportation. In Canada, most of these cities, they are car dependent. If you are just arriving in Canada, some people don't buy cars immediately. They tend to use public transport. And public transport is about $70 per month. Car loan is between $400 and $600 if you eventually take, take it. And that's monthly. And that's monthly. The next expense after car loan under this category is your car insurance. So if you own a car in Canada, it's the law that you have to have the car insurance. So for car insurance, I pay about $203, and that's for myself and my husband. We own two cars. What about you? We pay about $120. For your car insurance. <laughs> car insurance. Car insurance. Okay. okay. I would say that maybe $100 is a safe bet. Um, it depends on the form of license that you also have. Yes, yes, that's, that's a very good point because in Canada, if you're driving with a learner's permit, you tend to pay a insurance premium. But if you have the full license, your insurance is reduced. Oh, yeah. So this is one of the expenses that is really hard to put a number on. Yeah. <laughs> because it depends on so many factors. Another thing about insurance is the location, right? So guys, we live in the Atlantic provinces and these numbers are focused on this location. Atlantic provinces is less expensive than living in other provinces. So if you are coming to the Atlantic province, you are covered. <laughs> So guys, I want to say that if you have gained value so far from this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share with your friends. Guys, thank you. So the final group of, um, oh, we forgot something. Gas. <laughs> so on the average, we spend about $300 to $400 on gas. Gas is very expensive these days, guys. That, I think that's a safe number. Ours is about 100 so the final category of expenses that I would like to share today is we just group this category under order because there are so many other expenses that each individual we likely spend that we don't know about. So yeah. the first one is child care. For now, we don't have any child care expenses because we are grateful to God that we have parents that help us take care of our children when we go to work, right? So, <laughs> so yeah, but in the past, I've paid child care. I think we were paying about $700 when she was three years old. So child care is another big chunk that is expensive. If you have children that are below five years old, you should expect to pay child care if you have to go to work. Yeah, so, and it's, it depends on their age. The kids below two, I think they pay more. They pay about $850. Then the kids between three and five, they pay about seven fifty. I think there are some programs that government does some subsidizing. Yes, they subsidize. So I, I, I got the the first time she went to school, I got the subsidy. Okay. The government was paying about two fifty. I was paying five hundred. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 high. <laughs> Very high. It's high, but it's close to rent. Yeah, yeah. If, <laughs> but if you are coming as a new immigrant, you are likely going to get lots of government subsidies. especially if you are coming from nigeria they will base your subsidy based on your income. income back home and most times when you convert the income back home to the income here it's not really substantial so <laughs> we all know it's not it's not because of exchange rates that's what we mean <laughs> okay yeah so child for child care you should expect to spend about 750 or 850 depending on the age of your child mm -hmm. so the final one that we wanted to talk about was life insurance so we have life insurances because of our homes right so mm -hmm. for life insurance i pay on a yearly basis and my yearly cost is 600 dollars. so that's average of 50 dollars per month well we pay monthly and yeah. ours is about 90 dollars per month that's insurance is really hard to tell you guys the average price yes because, because it depends on the coverage that you are going for plus your size of family and your age. age your age too okay it's a wrap for today guys we hope that you enjoyed watching our video today and you were able to get valuable information so i've come to the end of the video guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to like, like share, share comment and, and subscribe. subscribe smash the button guys we'll see you in the next video bye, bye for now, now guys Hey!